for you with contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Help me share your love and grace in all I do. Lord, I come before you with contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Help me share your love and grace in all I do. Sabbath. May God bless you. We are so happy that you are joining us this evening as we discuss an in important topic. Our topic for this evening is social media 
evangelism. Um, one of my favorite topics, social media evangelism. And we are happy that you have chosen to be with us this evening as we discuss this topic and as we grow in this area. Now, before we go further, we'll bow our heads wherever you are in your homes. I hope not when you're driving, but in your homes, wherever you are, just bow your heads with us as we pray. Loving Father, Lord, we thank you for who you are. Lord, we thank you for the Sabbath, and we thank you for the blessings of today. We thank you for the week, safely through another week you have brought us. And today, Lord, we are here to praise you and to glorify your name. So we ask that you please accept our worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Mm -hmm. Amen and amen. This evening we have four persons with us, and I would like them to... Um, Share the names who they are. We'll begin with the the rose among the thorns. <laughs> so we'll begin with you coming down that way. All right. Happy Sabbath, everyone. My name is Sarana Phillip, and I'm from the Paradise SDA Church. Hi. Good night, everyone. I'm Travis Hall. I'm from the St. George's Seventh-day Adventist Church. Good night, everyone. I'm Paul Millet. I'm from the Mount Horn Seventh-day Adventist Church. All right. Good. So we have a basically a cross-section of the island. We have Paradise. We have St. George's Paradise in the east, St. George's is in the south, Mount Horn is in the east, 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 east. right, same district paradise yes. and right, um, I think I'm from the north. <laughs> yes, so we have a fair representation this evening and we are discussing social media evangelism. However, before we um, go any further, we will have a special item of music well sorry about that praise and worship um, we will now take your your special um, songs um, this evening from the screen so we'll go with the first individual before we do that let's give some greetings to persons yeah, right. you know um, who are in the house who are watching with us we have Rosalind Jeffers McCoy Happy Sabbath to you, and thank you for joining us. We have Shima Hamlet. Um, thank you for joining us, and she's saying song number 33. We'll sing your song in a while. And we have Krista Bain. Krista, thank you very much. Happy Sabbath, and thank you for joining us. And we have Indra Thomas. Um, happy Sabbath to you. Help me um, so you know, we have give some Sadi greetings Maras as well. Sadi Maras saying pleasant Sabbath to Happy everyone. Sabbath to you. We have Shima Hamlet. Saying song number 33. Happy, Happy Sabbath, Sabbath again. <laughs> we have Rachel Jerome Graham. Happy Sabbath. Saving through another week. God has blessed us. Praise him. That's 384. All right. Yes, all right. Well, he didn't call a number, but that, that, that's yes. where it is from. So we have Sally Mara saying 373. Um, uh, Siki Dolores, I think. Mm -hmm. We have Ina Alexander saying Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath to you too. All right. Indra Thomas giving her number 449. 449 is praise him, praise him, I think. Never part again. Never, no, part, never part, part again. <laughs> All right, good, good, good. The keyboard is, is in place. What now we have like Spice favorite? Lady Brave Boy, who's there almost every Friday night. Spice Lady, happy Sabbath. 486 will sing your song. We have Shemaine Bihari, happy Sabbath to you. Um, then we have Shakira, uh, my friend, my friend, St. Lucian, um, Ukrainian. Um, if that's a word, happy Sabbath to you. And then we have Kathy Cumberbatch. A happy Sabbath to you. Um, and then the we have Francisca. Um, Francisca, happy Sabbath, and thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate all of you, and thank you for joining us. Please share the word. Let persons know that we are here and we are discussing um, an important topic. Please. Not only, not only like the page, but please share with a friend and let them know that they should come and watch and join us in the discussion. So our first song for this evening is 333, number 33. Number 33 is our first song for the evening. And the keyboardist would tune that song for us. And we will sing as a choir. Um, I will call the words and we'll sing.
can practice it for next week. Yeah, yeah or something like that. Um, so we'll take oh, the. Somebody's coming. So we'll take the other song, 34. Um, maybe next time, we don't know what song, I'll ask Pastor Gordon um, to join me here as he would lead it in, in an unknown song. Number 34. Um, let's see if we know that one. Wake the song. I think we know that one. That one is well known. All right, so we'll try to sing our parts as much as possible. And join, join with us at home as we sing this song together and give, giving God all the glory and praise due unto his holy name.
again number 388 don't forget the sabbath the lord our god has blessed we will sing as usual the third first and the last stanza in this case is the third stanza mm -hmm. all right so um sis you'll raise that one for us please Pardon me? can you raise that one for us raise the this song this song yeah man hi Oh, no, no. <laughs> Where is it? Don't leave it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, man. Just raise it. Yeah, man. Let me know when you raise it high, right? Raise it high. Yeah. Let me know when you raise the key for the next verse. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Don't forget the sound. Come on, come on. At home, join us. the sabbath in heaven as well but we will sing about it for now on jordan's tommy bands i stand and cast a wishful eye um 620 and we'll raise it let's praise god together let's give god the glory and the praise do only unto his name Join us, join us, I am. I am No, I think it's 537. 537. Okay. Yes, 537. Um, he, one of my favorite songs, one of them, I have a lot of them, one of them, He Leadeth Me. 
And so we need to sing that as if we mean it with all oomph and poomph, like some person <laughs> say, you know, let's sing it together and give God the glory. And those of you who are at home, join us, join us as we praise God together. Can we try this this way? The ladies sing the first stanza and the men would sing the last stanza. Can okay. we try that? Mm -hmm. All right. Let, um, let's see who would cause the trumpet to sound a little <laughs> better tonight. <laughs> the men or the ladies. But don't worry, she has backup. She has backup mm -hmm. in the house. She has backup in the house. So 442. And at home, ladies, join us and men, join us as well. Fifteen, my Maker and my King, to to the my all I owe. Number fifteen. Whenever you attend an Adventist school, you need to know that song. <laughs> yes, yeah. sung morning, um, evening, <laughs> all the time at school. My Maker and my King.
130 it is well with my soul i think that's the desire of every follower of christ to be able to utter these words when peace like a river attendeth my way when sorrow like sea billows rule whatever my lord thou hast taught me to say i will well. say it is well with my soul, with my soul. Sorry, 359, 359, at the voice of Jesus calling, who will go and work today? Fields are white, the harvest is waiting, who will bear the shields away? Now let's sing that song together as we, it's fitting for our topic this evening, social media evangelism. He's the one who sustains our life and 
It's a joy for us to praise him Amen. and sing all these songs to him tonight. We would like to again welcome um, Dario Alexander. Welcome. We have Lona King. Welcome and happy Sabbath to you. And may God bless you. We have Sylvanas in the house. Happy Sabbath. Um, we have... Um, somebody help me with that name in Jesus' name. Follow Mano. Follow, follow Mano. Mano. Yeah. Um, so happy Sabbath. For only our almighty God, he says, is worthy to be praised. Praise him with all your hearts for ever and ever. And I saw Pastor Gittens in the house. Pastor, uh, happy Sabbath. And may God bless you and your family. And I pray that the holy angels will be around you at this time, Pastor. May God bless you. We have Rosalind McCoy. Happy Sabbath. Um, we have uh, Hello Jude. Oh, Jude, happy Sabbath. Um, that's a good friend of mine from St. Lucia. A happy Sabbath. I hope he's a simple person I'm talking about. <laughs> happy Sabbath. <laughs> um, all right. Um, see if there's anybody else in the house to say happy Sabbath too. Thank you very much. And please share and let persons know that we are here tonight worshiping God. We have Luana in the house. Happy Sabbath. And thank you for joining Al um, Alan Phil. But happy Sabbath. Um, and in the house, we have Claudius Daniel in the house. Happy Sabbath. Thank you so much for joining us. And you have Mommy Joycelyn Ogis. Happy Sabbath. I'm sorry we could not sing your song. Guys, don't go too fast. We want to make sure we see the names. Um, 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 thank you so much for joining us, Sister Ogis. So we appreciate it. I think I saw somebody called Slim Girl John. Um, happy Sabbath and thank you so much for joining. We have Kareem. Um, thank you so much for joining. Edifa, thanks for um, joining. We have um, Delisha Lambert. She was here last, last week. Delisha, thanks for um, joining us tonight. We have um, Sally um, Morissette, Kelvis Joseph. Um, Sharina, Sharian, Sharian Edwards. Sharian Edwards. Um, um, happy Sabbath, um, Pastor. I'm sorry, but um, next time hopefully we'll sing your song. Um, but um, Pastor, thank you for for joining us this evening. This evening we are studying and we are discussing the idea of social media evangelism. Tonight we will discuss what is social media evangelism, does it make sense, um, should we go in that direction, what are the benefits to the gospel. We will discuss that in length with our panelists th um, this evening. Uh, we have Smith right in the house, happy Sabbath. Natonia, um, happy Sabbath. Uh, this evening we want to look at a few of our events happening in the conference. Um, we have a dynamic conference, um, a, a conference where there's always something happening. And I was told beginning on the 17th of April, there will be a crusade in the north. Um, Brother Henry Sargent, uh, Lieutenant General in the Army of the Lord, um, an individual who is a seasoned man of God, will be loosing the wood there in River Sally, um, following our mandate for our Caribbean Union wide lay preachers initiative. Um, and he'll begin on um, March, sorry, the 17th. That is, I think, next week, Sunday, he begins. Um, and then we are told our second in command um, in the union, the executive secretary of the Caribbean Union, Pastor Johnson Frederick, a seasoned evangelist. He is there in Corinth, St. David. Am I correct? Yep. Corinth, St. David. And he's rightly dividing the word of truth. We're asking if you are from the St. David's Windsor Forest. Um, um, help me now. Um, Wester Hall. Corshu. Corinth. Um, 
St. George's, wherever you're from this area, <laughs> from Crosshue, way down to St. George's, um, Tantin, um, Calvini. Calvini, you are from this area, the place to be every night is under this big green and white tent there in Corinth. I think the off nights are Wednesday nights and the preacher is on fire. Um, that's happening right now. Even right now, um, they are on the, the tent. Then we have, um, we have our health seminar crusade at um, Montrose. We have a gentleman coming all the way from St. Lucia. He is coming to show us and teach us how we can reverse. Guys, do you know I could reverse diabetes? Diabetes could be reversed. Really? Yeah. Type 2 diabetes can be reversed. Interesting. But it can be reversed through proper diet and exercise. As an Adventist people, we have the message. Amen. God gave us the prophetess Ellen G. White. And she gave us God's counsels on health. And we're going to use this to show individuals that you can reverse type 2 diabetes. But it only can be reversed through, well, let me, let me not say anymore. Just come to Montreal's <laughs> beginning the 24th of March. And I was told that um, in St. George's, um, there will be church on the, on the campus in St. George's. And it should be on the screen so we could get all the information. So we could share with you um, the St. George's University. Um, SGU, there they have a group of young people from all around the world and they form a nice association and they worship there every now and then on campus. Every I was Friday night. every Friday night, mm -hmm. every Friday. And I was the group with them. Is called SDASO. No, talk to us, man. Tell us, tell us. <laughs> so, the group is called SDASO, they're mm -hmm. a group of Adventists on campus, and we meet every Friday night to worship, right? So, now, now, hey, now, we, yeah. <laughs> So yes, I do worship with them every Friday right. night, and they also have worship on Wednesday night. So they're having this initiative, campus, church on campus, where right. they have it usually every term. So they're inviting everyone to come out. All right, so we ask you to come out. Um, and again, the poster should be on the screen. So you should get the, you, you, you can get the date, mark it. I was with them last year. We had a wonderful time, a fantabulous time. They were inviting all of us to come down. Let's go down and support them and worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. So see everyone on March 30th. March what? 30th. Mark it in your calendar. Well, nowadays we use our phones, our tablets, Google Calendar and so forth. So wherever you have your calendar, mark it. If you still carry along the hard copy um, calendar diary, mark it there too. <laughs> but make it a date. Um, also, would like to... Um, we have camp coming up. Now, maybe you should you tell us about camp? We have, we have Pathfinder Comprary coming up. Just before um, we share the video to promote our camp, tell us some about something about camp, you know, what you enjoy in Pathfinder Camp Prairie and you as well, so we could, so that persons, clubs could be a little more excited to be at camp. Well, with Camp Prairie, what really excites me is um, the activities and the drilling. You right. Have yes. different <laughs> so, so you have drill down? You have she drill down. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have drill down, you have fancy drill, and mm -hmm. just getting up in the morning, having lime corn. Yes, yes. But so before then, she continues, mm -hmm. St. George's always win the drill down, right? Okay. Well. <laughs> Who won it last year? It was St. George's. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess the competition is <laughs> steep. So you need to come to camp so that you can see who will win this year and somebody said there's good food yeah oh yes, lord yes, praise yes, the yes, lord yes, so good food yes come if you like food come to camp all right so tell us more <laughs> oh well camp is very interesting we have a lot of interesting speakers coming up mm -hmm. like a lot of the youth pastors come up they talk every morning for devotions they have closing devotions at night as well i love the activities like she said yes um, we usually go to different churches on Sabbath, depending on what planned. Mm -hmm. We have socials. We get to meet every single person from different churches around the whole entire island. So that's wow. very interesting. Get to meet people that I haven't seen in a long time. Wow. Socialize. 
and have a good time in the lodge. Wow, and, and I was told that you guys go hiking too. Yes, and go hike. Hiking. That is yeah. one of the. Those are the activities that really keep youth together. Wow. Hiking. So people, organize your clubs from Saint George's in the south to um, Dwell Montrose in the north and Victoria in the west and Crochu and St. David's in the east. Wherever you are, organize your clubs. Come to Camp Easter weekend. I was told that it's going to, it's going to be great. Let's um, sit back and just watch an ad for Camp Easter Camp this year. It's only one month and a few days away. National Pathfinder Campery 2019. You can't afford to miss this life-changing weekend. Reunite with friends. Connect with God. Sharpen your skills. Relax and have fun. Impact the community. April 18th to the 22nd, 2019. Under the theme, selfie, hashtag, like and share Jesus. Register now. Pray for it. Plan for it. Experience it. National Campery 2019. Is Easter happening Easter weekend? So come bring your clubs, bring your families, let us come together. And I would like to be there. I may not be there for the entire weekend because we have different crusades in my district, but I will be there. Man, I love camp. I mean, I grew up in the church and it was all about camp and hike and thing. Man, come bring some level of excitement, you know. Um, but I will support, and my district is coming out. We yeah. just may win. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and just to add with camp as well, um, the Sabbath evening, we'll be having an uh, impact in Pulse. That's up um, on the airship. Yes, in yes, area. yes, yes, yes. So those who want to come and join us on Sabbath evening, come on, we're going out to the community. We're going to, we're having a health, they're having a health section as well. People oh, get nice, testing and nice, so, nice, and nice, we nice. And we're going out and just visit the people in the community, share God's word, share priorities, give them gifts and so on like that. So, who want to come and join us Sabbath, they can do that. Oh, that's mm -hmm. solid. Since yes. you're hearing it, um, come community. and see Grenada's youth at the finest. Yes. Now, stop here because when we talk about <laughs> come back, get excited. <laughs> Thanks, I'm not talking again. Um, this evening, remember, we are discussing social media evangelism. Mm -hmm. um, before we go further in our discussion, we need to open our Bible a little. Um, on our tablets, wherever it is. So, um, somebody will read for us Mark 16, 15, and my brother here would read Luke 14, 23. So, we are reading two scripture verses. The first one is Mark 16, 15, and the second one is Luke 14, 23. Okay, so Mark 16, 15 says, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Wow, yes. that's solid. And that is Jesus speaking. Mm -hmm. yes. He said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Okay, and Luke 14, 23. Luke 14, 23. Then the master said to the servant, go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house might be filled. That my house might be filled. So Jesus' desire is that his house his fold, his church might be filled. Um, we are living in a world, a technological world. Um, technology has changed the way we communicate with each other. Technology has changed the even communities. Um, when I grew up, now if you realize, we have gotten a drastic change in technology for basically the last 10 years. When I grew up, maybe the only TV in my community, only TV in my community was my, at my home. The only one. Um, that was maybe when I was like 10, 9. By the time I got to 18, everybody had TV, computer, laptop, cell phones. And there was a time cell phones were maybe a thousand BC. I hope I'm not exaggerating um, for one, but however, very expensive. But just over time, cell phones have become very inexpensive. Um, persons we used to meet to, um, as a community in terms of meeting in groups and so forth, physical groups, 
However, because of technology, you don't only have physical groups meeting, but you have what we call online communities of virtual groups, of virtual chat rooms, where people meet and they share, even how they feel. Actually, persons can even do counseling online now. You know, so right now technology has changed the way we communicate. The thing is, can we use technology? Can we use that to spread the gospel? We have young people in our church who are feeling um, highly underutilized. Can we use, um, let them use their gifts in technology so that they can work for God and they can spread the gospel? Tonight we will discuss this. Tonight we will try to open that as much as we can with the limited time that we have as we discuss social media evangelism. At this time, we'll take a break and we will listen to a beautiful item of music and then we'll come back and we'll begin discussing social media evangelism. Thank you. 
beautiful item or instrumental a violin piece by brother best and brother philip from the snail hall seventh day adventist church um young men keep on playing for the lord and blessing our hearts with tremendous gospel music um in the house we have rosalind jeffrey happy sabbath um we have um shalina yes yeah, sure, yeah. yeah, yes yes yeah, happy sure. sabbath to you and thank you so much for um joining us let's go back up guys let me see if anybody else is in the house we have priscilla george happy sabbath and she's saying brother jude happy sabbath um anybody else that we, we have here? rikisha shadi cronin which is my cousin she's saying the song was very beautiful okay nice 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 Happy Sabbath to you. And we have Jennifer um, Bernal. Happy Sabbath. And they all saying beautiful amen to the um, to the song. Yeah. Um, and they really enjoyed the piece. God, God be praised. We have Dr. Dre in the house. Dr. <laughs> Dre Campbell. Um, happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Um, Saints of God tonight. Remember, we are we are discussing social media evangelism i believe as we discuss any topic um it is important for us to define to define um key terms mm -hmm. so the key terms that we have here is one social media evangelism <laughs> and the other one social media mm -hmm. um so therefore let tell me you guys first one what you think is social media well, basically, social media is like an online platform mm -hmm. where persons will communicate, share ideas, share thoughts, you know, different things like that. But it's online where they communicate with each other. They could set up networks with other persons from all over the world mm -hmm. and, yeah, communicate. All right. So, so okay, so these are sites where persons use to communicate and network and, right. and share ideas, thoughts with each other. Right. All right. But, um, even, but, but even adding to this, we, we, we can add in the aspect of the mobility. Right, okay. Yeah, you're not confined to a fixed location, but you can do it on the fly while you go. You have, so mainly when we talk social media, as much as many of the platforms are uh, can be used on a, on a desktop PC, right. but now most of them are designed for mobile devices. Okay. So okay. you can be on the bus, you can be commuting, you can be wherever you are, and you're people are with you you're, you're, you're always connected okay wherever all right. you are okay so so we get that so social media is also created to be used on devices whether it's whether you are mobile um whether tablet or what have yeah. you um that's that's i think that is solid um so therefore we have defined what social media is but what is social media evangelism well social media evangelism is using the social media to spread the gospel publicly and privately. All right, right? Yes. good. Because evangelism is it's just sharing, sharing the, gospel. right? Spread Man, the you're a Bible scholar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so evangelism is sharing the gospel. Yeah, exactly. So social media is using social media we to share God's to share word. God's word exactly. to share the gospel. Yes. So therefore, we have defined for you tonight um, social media and social media evangelism. So therefore, moving forward in our discussion, these are the definitions that would guide us. Okay. Right. So therefore, we have discussed social media. Um, <clears throat> so there are social media channels, there are social media sites. They call it channels, sites, some call it platforms, some call, you know, what are some of the social media channel sites, or platforms that we are familiar with? Oh, the most famous one is Facebook. Yes. Or so Facebook. Hands down. Um, do, do you guys know of a, f of a famous one that basically went out of what you call style? Yeah. Back mm -hmm. when I started secondary school, that was in 2004, uh -huh. just going into secondary school, it had a very famous one called High Five. That's oh, it. You <laughs> actually so forgot High Five, right? Yes, I forgot yeah. that one. Um, we, yeah. we had High Five, but... Mm -hmm. It still exists though. Yeah, yeah. it still exists. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but um, Facebook took over. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we have Facebook. We have one. Um, we, 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 we still have High Five. The funny yeah. thing high for high five, high five was popular here, but in the States, what was popular around that time was something called MySpace. Right. Yes, yes, so yes. It yes. was the same thing that came out around the same time, but in Grenada, so High Five. High Five was the thing. Yeah, yeah. High Five. And, and I heard. Yes, WhatsApp. We WhatsApp. WhatsApp as well. Too. Okay. Um, yeah. Any Instagram, other? Instagram. <coughs> Instagram. Skype. Mm -hmm. We have um, 
Viber, we have Twitter. Twitter, okay. We have All right. Snapchat. Yes. Right. Now, there are a lot more than what we are discussing mm -hmm. now yeah, yeah. because there are those that um, are used in China and so forth. They're yes. more popular mm -hmm. uh, around that area. Um, but what do you think are the most popular social media site, um, sites, platforms, or channels within the maybe Grenada setting or the Caribbean setting? So we have. Facebook. Facebook and, and, yeah, Facebook one. and WhatsApp. We have WhatsApp yeah. as like maybe number two. We have number Instagram. Two. Instagram, yes. Um, but even we have LinkedIn also. LinkedIn. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, yes. Because the various platform mm -hmm. offers you different kinds of services. Mm -hmm. All right. Talk to me, sir. Yeah, yeah. So based on the kind yeah. of service you, you, you want. I mean, you use Facebook. What you can do on Facebook, you may not be able to do on other platforms. Right. Now, but now, based now, on, yeah. now, that's an important point. Eh? That's, so keep, keep that thought because I'm going to come back there yeah. right now in a few seconds. Um, because we now need to share with our audiences what um, some of the popular sites are, yeah. are useful. Um, so, therefore, we are seeing the popular ones that you said, WhatsApp, Viber, Facebook. 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 Yeah. But don't forget there's on one of the most popular ones, YouTube. YouTube. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. YouTube, YouTube is YouTube. popular. Mm -hmm. All right, so tell us, um, so let's start with Facebook. What is Facebook, um, the purpose of Facebook? What do you use Facebook for? Well, well, you you use Facebook to share information you like. Um, how I should put it? Um, you can share pictures. You can share pictures, yeah. yes. Videos, you can share videos. Um, information. Yes. In, yes like, that's right. You advertise. It's, it's free. It's free. Yeah. Yeah. It's yes. free to share. So, yes. so Facebook is more of a networking yeah. um, platform. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. So network. basically, if I have different Facebook friends, depending on how much I have, they could see my feed, and my feed is what I post on a daily basis. Right. So if I post a picture, my Facebook friends will see that picture. If I post a video, my Facebook friends will see that video. If I post whatever I post on my feed, my friends will could see it, unless if I have You change blocked. the settings. Right. Yes. <laughs> so you can change the settings based on whatever you feel like sharing. Right. So if you feel to share, openly everybody could see a feed regardless if it's your friend or not right. your friend. but if you choose to have it privately to just your friends just your friends will be able to see, see what you right so right or right, right away the, the script here that we just did mm. comes back to mind go into all the world right mm -hmm. tell every man mm -hmm. and every man has different needs right mm -hmm. so we don't have as we talk about evangelism using the social media that's why we are now explaining the various forms of, of various platforms right, that definitely. are available mm -hmm. because some may reach some persons what about those who don't use facebook they may use another platform what about those who don't use whatsapp what about those who don't use skype again we also bear in mind in some countries there are restrictions yes. as it relates to some platform being used in yes. some so yes. that's why we have the various platforms so you may be used to facebook here but if it so happens you get to china for example or you're traveling some countries that have restrictions on that then you have to apply you know another platform to do the same thing so as persons who are evangelizing we ought to know the various platforms that are there right. for the different needs yeah now as a marketing yeah. person you have brought so many things to, to my mind um market segmentation of your market and so forth because you need to know you know who your clients are yeah. and, and and who you're trying to reach out seg segmenting um your markets so therefore knowing what these platforms are used for is important Very in a sharing um, the gospel. Um, just let's just talk about two or three of them, what they're used for. What do you think YouTube is used for? Definitely for videos. Like, that's the main thing. YouTube, the tube okay. means uh, like a TV tube. So it's definitely for videos. A lot of persons could do live streaming at YouTube as well. Right, on Facebook as well. And on Facebook as well. And there was some site I was studying and they, come in new, they came new with live streaming. You know, I think it, it was... Um, there were a lot of new streams. IMO. I think IMO oh, yeah, can live stream now. Mm -hmm. Instagram can stream too. <laughs> right, well. right, 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 right. Facebook, Instagram. Now, now, I call YouTube University of YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, why call, that's why I call it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyone can do it. Mm -hmm. Yes, anyone that, can. That, that's what it is. A, yeah, anyone can do it. Um, I, I remember so I, was, I was having some challenges with, with my car and, and I went to YouTube. Yeah. You yes, know. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say, YouTube helped me so much through undergrad as well. Like, if you're trying to figure out some kind of reaction because I did chemistry, you just go on YouTube and someone taught you that. Yes, 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 yes. 
because even when I was doing accounting, um, I did a lot of my things on, on YouTube. Right. I went there and I tried to learn the formulas, I tried to learn the concepts, the principles. YouTube, yeah. University yeah. of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but, right. even, but even as we back <laughs> on evangelism, yeah. I want mm -hmm. us to highlight evangelizing or evangelism is spreading the good news, right. spreading the gospel. Right. Mm -hmm. And very often, it's going to come around later on as we go into the program, but persons just share things. And mm -hmm. I want us to remember, even though we're evangelizing, using the different medium that's available, we still have to look at it in a way as if we were physically there with someone. That's, because you and get that there is solid. and you that share the word. Mm -hmm. So when you're sharing using the different platform, you must share the thus word. said the right. word. Definitely. The now, word. now, you're saying that we must share the gospel and, uh, and you use a different article. Um, as Adventists, we, real, we believe that we share the good news, but we also believe that God has given us a unique man mandate, as in Revelation chapter 14, the three angels' message, mm -hmm. and um, chapter 18, the, the fourth angels' message. So we believe that we have not only the good news, but we have a responsibility to dwell further and to couple out of Babylon and so forth. So therefore, we have a responsibility as Adventists to do what? To share the gospel in all the world. All right, and that's solid, and we did keeping that 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 thing, and you 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 correct because we need to deal with social media when we're sharing the gospel as if we're present with yeah with with an individual. Yeah. Now, what are some of the benefits of using social media for evangelism? Definitely, can reach a larger audience than at church because the congregation at church mm -hmm. might be to say a hundred people. But with social media, man, you could reach thousands upon millions because you could go all around the world. Because every, wherever have that platform being accepted, you could share it with that platform and they will access it from that platform for wherever they are in the world. So it's not okay. confined to a particular people, per se, like a church congregation or so. You could reach a lot of people a Oh, yeah, you can reach a lot of people. Right. Now, okay, that, that's solid. Um, but again, something just came to my mind. <laughs> again, the marketing concept came to yeah, my mind. Yeah, because there yeah. are people who would never come to your church or come to where you are physically. Right. For various reasons. But using social media, these persons can be rich. Right, okay. You, you, you can do that. Because you may have, as a crusade we advertise, some persons may not want to go to the crusade for various reasons. Maybe, okay, they may say, well, here's what, that's not my church, and I don't want people to see me going. But you have it, let's say, being streamed live on Facebook or somewhere. These same persons can be converted in their homes. Okay. And we can break the pride barrier that, that, that deters people sometimes from attending functions. So we can really reach R a reach wide person. audience. Okay, good. In so, so therefore, reaching a wider audience is one of the benefits of social media. What else do you think is a benefit of social media? Um, one of the things about social media is very fast. Okay. So if you post up something with spiritual on Facebook or WhatsApp, you realize it spreads very quickly. Yeah, well, whatever so you paste, well, it is back on now. Whatever you, <laughs> whatever you it, post, it spreads. It spreads very quickly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I yeah, see yeah, that yeah, yeah. Uh, as one of the, well, I, prefer, I see that as one of the most important benefits of social media evangelism because if it spreads, if you want to post a, uh, uh, a video of some uh, special music or scripture, it goes there very quickly. It reaches many people very fast. Yes, so solid. that's one of the benefits. And, and, and that's very important. Very important. Yes. And I'm saying it's very important mm -hmm. because of the speed at which it reaches people. Yes. You have to ensure that what you put out is authentic. Yeah, yeah. authentic accurate mm -hmm. that's yes, what it that, is and i think that's the thing that we need to we need to open up a little more in yeah. our discussion in a yeah. while yeah. but but we're still talking about the benefits but yeah. again keep the points because we need to maybe flesh them out a little as we go um more um and so forth all right because as you made mention of benefits we are here now in studio and there are very expensive equipment here to bring that here that's it yeah. now everybody who has a mobile device you don't, that's it, that is enough. Right. What we're doing here, you can do the same thing for a fraction of the cost. So one of the benefits of using the social media, the cost cutting. Right. Yes. Right. Everyone now has their own TV station, which is a mobile phone you can broadcast oh, yeah. to anyone. Mm -hmm. So the cost is cut, the audience is larger, lots of other benefits can be derived from Could it. Right. And, and somebody said, for example, I can participate even if I'm not, not in Grenada. Yeah. yeah. Solid, solid. Now, um, 
So we have looked at just about three, and we can consider many, many, many more benefits, but three for now is good. And the three, I think, are solid okay, ones. Solid. Yeah. Um, but is social media evangelism simply share, liking, sharing songs, Bible quotes, um, devotions via social media? <coughs> So you brought to mind that song that says, if you cannot preach like Paul, if you cannot do that, you can still tell the love of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So there are some things that some persons can do. There are things, again, that they can't do. But on this platform, it affords you the opportunity to do whatever little you can do. Right. So if it's one thing, if you can just share something, that's what, if you cannot create the content yourself, but you can just share something, then that, that's an option you have. Right. If all you can do is just to like so that it gets... Mm -hmm up there then you can do right. that so it affords us the ability to participate in spreading the gospel in evangelizing right. in our own little way and that's solid and and you apart from that point you you, you use the word that is solid content and mm -hmm. content creation is key mm -hmm. um especially for us who are here in the conference who may have the resources and the equipment so we can create content but for those like you said who may not have the expertise um, those persons like and share, it's, it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine. However, you must ensure that whatever you share mm -hmm. is, with, uh, and, and we go back, I think you should discuss that one. Then yeah. The while ago. yeah. Yeah. Whatever we like and share. The thing about it, sometimes somebody would send you a message, and, and it's for all of us. And it's a whole list of things. Whatever we share, we should always bear in mind, we should know what the content is. Right. Because if we are evangelizing, we are bringing the good news, but we want a response from these persons. So we should share something. So in the event we are asked a question about it, we should know. Right. Because not everything that comes to us, we should just share. Some persons may, you may have, let's say, two paragraphs, and you read the first two sentences, and it sounds okay. And even before reading the rest, you pass it on. Only to realize after what you pass on really goes against what you believe. Yes, yes, so yes. So yes. when it comes to social media evangelizing, we should ensure that we spend time to read the content of right. it and make sure that whatever we like, we like. That's whatever it. we share mm -hmm. is what we believe. That's it. And this is very important. So we believe sometimes, oh, I just pass it on and I'm evangelizing. And we may be sending out the wrong message out there. Right, so right, the right, right. So the real reason behind evangelizing is to get the good news to persons so that we can ensure that we all live up to God's standard. Yes, and that, that's solid. Now, now that coming now into the picture... And there we have a... Yeah, from Kimran, from Korean. Right. Yeah, and he says, whatever you share on social media is a reflection of you. That's how it is interpreted. Right. So imagine you, pastor, just shared something without reading it, only to realize after that's not really yes, what yes, you stand yes. for. But, but it, it has gone out. It has gone And with social media, whenever it has gone out... It has gone, gone out. Oh, yeah. You may delete it, it mm -mm. Um, but it has gone out. Yeah, <laughs> and, and Kimo is saying, Bishop, I am not home, but I am, but I have Bible study with a non-believer three times a week for an hour each time via WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. It's not just sharing and posting, but we can do more than that. I am even what? In gathering by WhatsApp. Wow. <laughs> Pastor Hewitt needs to get that word yeah. back. <laughs> that's solid. And that's solid. That's solid. Um, so, Indra Thomas Center give us a list of social media sites and mm -hmm. so forth. Now, the thing is, we are just sharing, we just shared now the basic of social media evangelism. Mm -hmm. But there are, there are two persons, um, I think, I forgot his name, he's a Grenadian, um, but I, I'm, let me get his name for you when we come back in a while. Mm -hmm. um, and there is another group in the South. Those individuals are social media people. Mm -hmm. They are serious about social media. Um, they, pre they bring a group together, they um, um, put the content in place and so forth, and they share, mm -hmm. and they share. Um, and that's where the idea of social media disciples, or digital disciples, internet disciples, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. or missionaries. Um, let me ask you that question. Um, who do you think a digital disciple or missionary is? A missionary is one who goes on God's mission. Right. Bring God's message wherever he directs them to. Right. 
digital missionary is one who does the same using digital means. That's it. And by digital, we <clears throat> come back again to our social media, media or platform, right. digital. It's electronic. So right. whatever means we decide to do that. So we are evangelizing, we are digital missionaries. Right. Using okay. the platforms. All right. Now let me just throw it at you guys. <laughs> um, what are some of the things or content? By content we mean material that you put online mm -hmm. that digital missionaries would use to put online or on Facebook or or Pinterest uh, or, or any other so or YouTube. Okay, so there's a Facebook group chat called um we need the disciples. Right. So what they usually do, they have a group of people on that site or connected mm -hmm. and they would share different things that they'll see during the week or some inf information that they'll received from people like um, the Bachelor or, or mm -hmm. um, 3ABN. They'll discuss different topics on the Bible, have it every week at a certain time. Right. So they just, it's a platform where you can connect to people. So, so they have Bible studies online. They have online. Bible study online. Right. So, so, so digital missionaries, um, missionaries can be broken down into digital evangelists, the, the, um, you know, um, the, um, different various stuff. So therefore, persons can have Bible studies, persons can do their mm -hmm. sermons, different ways, but they share the, like my brother is saying, the word of God mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, rather, whether it is through WhatsApp, it is through Facebook. That's what you're doing. Yeah, health Shit. ministry online, whatever it is. Yeah, whatever it is, health ministry, whatever it yeah. is, they do it online mm -hmm. and they meet people online. But it, it, something that a lot of Grenadians probably don't know, they probably know, but um, you could actually make money off of social media. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's so a, then, that's a multi-million dollar business. No, using that information. One of the richest guys um, alive is the owners of Facebook, right? <laughs> and also the owner of so Alibaba. Mm -hmm. You know, very rich persons, and they making money online. Even persons in my class, they Amazon are Amazon too. <laughs> they are rich off of like because they are so popular on these social media sites. Persons are paying them to advertise their products. Yes, because of their followers. So what I was going to say is we could try to use social media to make money and still use that money to do evangelistic work here on Ingredient at the home term. Right. Well, an individual can do that. Right. Um, but, but what we're sharing for the, um, the, uh, the, the uh, missionaries is that they, whatever content that they have, they focus on sharing the word of God. Right, yeah. But people can make money online. Yeah. Um, you have marketers, I mean... Those persons make money online. Other than them trying to bribe you, but nevertheless, <laughs> they make money online. Yeah. And and digital discipleship is a big thing. Actually, I have a friend of mine, Felicia Datas. Um, and I can share with you uh, at least one site that you could go to get information about what we're speaking on. It is Center of On C Center of for Online Evangelism. Um, it's a solid site. Teaches you how to prepare your content what content should be shared okay. teaches um shares with you what is a digital disciple and so forth and you could also go to the north american division um media ministry there's their powerpoint presentations and so forth and there are the gain conference um it's a conference of persons who are technically savvy Adventist individuals, they meet together every year to discuss ways to reach people mm -hmm. using online technology. using yeah. um, technology. Mm -hmm. Because there are people that would never meet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you can meet them through social media. Social media. All right. So at this time, we will, um, let's take a little break. Um, I think it's always good to have gospel music. They say gospel music. Is the best Amen. because it's just better than the rest. So we're we'll forced to have some good gospel music, and then we'll come back as um, those of us in house will discuss more on social media evangelism. Amen. Give me water from the well that never runs dry. Give me water from. Yeah. 
and welcome back. We are having a wonderful time discussing social media evangelism. Just wanna just um, hail certain persons and say hi to them. Um, my president, my pastor, Pastor Clinton Lewis is in the house. Pastor, may God bless you and thank you for joining us. And he is our communication director as well. So he's the one in charge of this program. Pastor, thank you so much. And we really appreciate your presence with us. Um, Silvanos is saying, and let me say something here. Like if you're going for a job, based upon what you post, that could be yes. He's correct. So that's why you have to be careful. I remember in St. Lucia a few years ago, um, I saw some videos. And you have to be careful. Some girls fighting, that kind of thing and so forth. <laughs> and I'm saying, Lord have mercy. Because mm -hmm. the truth is, when you're going for a job, let's say you saw that. Mm -hmm. And the next week or so, um, the person coming for the job is this young lady, mm -hmm. you know. So you have to be careful what goes up there and also mm -hmm. what you share. Mm -hmm. Some persons, you know, she's saying things that is, is not nice mm -hmm. and persons look on that. Actually, um, I was reading an article and I'm not sure if the embassies have gone there, but they were saying that some of the embassies were thinking of um, researching you through your social media pages. Mm -hmm. And so forth. I saw a roof in the house. Roof, happy Sabbath. And may God bless you. And thanks for joining. Um, let's see what, what our persons are saying tonight. Um, yes, Cyrus is saying, Ella Cyrus, I think that's a son. <laughs> Brother Cyrus, yes, happy Sabbath. Yes, he said, nice harmony and beautiful songs by the young ladies. Um, Shawnee Thompson from St. Vincent. Oh, SVG in the house. <laughs> she says, good night, listening to you from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. All right, who else in the house? Oh, wow, Jude is from Virginia. I think that's the, the wrong Jude. But Jude, <laughs> happy Sabbath for that. Um, yeah, Virginia Nelson saying, yes, bro, Jude. Yes, brother Jude. Um, <laughs> let's see, um, we, we want to discuss some of the things that our audience are sharing with us. We want to read some of their, um, their points, their viewpoints this evening. All right. Um, I think that's it. So you could share your viewpoints with us in terms of um, social media evangelism. Now, just before we, now we go back with the discussing social media missionaries and disciples, um, in marketing there is the concept of segmentation. So, for example... Um, let's say a supermarket will not just try to have branches all over Grenada just so. They will begin in a parish and maybe grow. And when they are financially stable or when they realize that they, have, they can get customers from elsewhere, they go out. Same thing for churches. When churches are beginning social media sites, um, Facebook allows them that privilege um to when they share the ads and so forth to zoom into their locale so if you go on facebook you can you can zoom into either saint andrews um or saint george's or you could do green in general mm -hmm. but focus on your area wherever you are focus on that area reaching the persons within your geographical location however persons from elsewhere will see your post mm -hmm. but your focus group so, for example, in the conference here in Grenada, our focus group should be Grenada, Cariku, and Pity Matnik. And other persons will receive the gospel because we'll reach them too. Uh, but we are focused on our geographical location. Because they say if you just... Because also, when you focus on a geographical location, you have to focus on the needs of that location. Because when you post, you don't just don't post for just posting sick you post with uh, a, a purpose, purpose. Mm -hmm. um and then you decide whether you post in um your your target group is youth whether it's adults whether it's children that kind of thing uh, single mothers and so forth but i also think that one of the purposes here for posting also you post so that persons can read they can be enlightened you can reach them but i believe with the ultimate aim of drawing them into the church 
Right. So we start off virtually mm, no, online. No, okay, because no, I was about to ask, what do you mean into the church? Yeah, yeah. So we we start off online, virtual environment, right. hoping to get the physical presence. Right. So there are persons in the community who would not come to church, but if we start reaching them and we we have Bible study, as somebody would have made mention, they yeah, do Bible Kimo, study. Yes. He does Bible study. We can do Bible study online, but with the intention of sooner than later, we get these persons to start fellowshipping with us, their physical presence. So we reach them in their homes, but eventually move them from their homes closer to the church. Eventually, we can all worship together physically if we are in that geographical area. Right. But there are others who are way out of that geographical spread who we still continue to reach via that social means. But persons in my community who I try to reach via the social media, eventually I would want to see them worshiping together, singing together, not... I am here and you're looking at me from a device alone but we are here together right. so 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 you, you share with us the aim is not to work with you and leave you, and the, leave um, you. Uh, yeah. in, in virtual space yeah so we were not creating a church in virtual space yeah. yeah we are reaching people there and we are bringing them to church yeah now <clears throat> Ellie, we have a question there too eh? okay yeah rikisha cronet Need to throw the question to the floor. You can go ahead and throw the question out and we'll, we'll, we'll raise it. Yes, yes, yeah. I will get it. But again, the foundations must be set. Because imagine you are on Facebook posting Jesus is loving, he's kind, and so forth. And you have presented Jesus as a loving Jesus. But when they come to church, you're not welcomed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So while the missionaries are working online, the physical church now needs to be working to pre um, prepare themselves to receive those individuals. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but, so. but that takes me back to a comment that was made earlier by, by Corian. He says, right. what you share and what you like is a reflection of you. Right. So really, if you post things, it should, it should be a reflection of you so that you post Jesus' is love and you post love and love and goodness. If it so happens that these persons come to fellowship with you, they should see that love and goodness coming from you. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, the social media platform puts us in a position where we can be whomever we want to be. Yes. Pretensive, but that's what that, we have to try as much as possible as Christians to really be ourselves. Yes, to be genuine. Genuine. Because you are a missionary, and missionaries are supposed to be genuine people. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I think so what he was, Kisha yeah. was saying um, for us to throw out a question to the audience. Yeah. They want. They want to be engaged. Be engaged in our discussion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, you guys can think of a question that you want to ask them. Um, hopefully we'll get one and we'll 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 we will share share it with you. Now, um, how do okay. you? Th yes. I have a question though. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So say for instance, I'm using the platform, social media platform, maybe Facebook or so, and I put up a nice quote because I just felt good that day. So I'll say, Jesus has helped me so much. He's good. He's this, he's right. that, whatever the case might be. And someone reads it and say, oh, Jesus is this person, this person, this person. I want to know this Jesus person a little bit better. No, how can I reach that person and make them come into a church body from just reading a message that I just posted upon Facebook? All right, so good question to the audience. Um, you want to ask it them again so that they could get it? Okay, so how can I reach persons in cyberspace by just putting up a nice quote on Facebook? How can I get them into the church just from doing that? All right, so you'll give us your answers in a while. Now, let's talk about, because we are talking about social media evangelism. When, as a pastor, I'm going to crusade, I plan. Well, I personally, I plan. Mm -hmm. And I organize um, my, what you call, a countdown. What's going to happen, let's say it's in, in July. Mm -hmm. What's going to happen in January and, and so forth. What are we going to do? You know, various um, line up for the crusade mm -hmm. until the month of the crusade. Um, do you think that individuals should just post anything they see? Or do you think they should plan um, what they, they, they're going to post or what they're going to do? On, on Facebook. Okay, we could consider Facebook like a church. So when we go up on the stage to preach, we don't just preach whatever comes in our head. We have to plan the sermon beforehand, go up on the stage, and then preach the sermon. Right. So Facebook, we could say, is like the platform to which persons would receive that sermon. Right. So we have to plan out what we post, whether or not it's about health, whether or not it's about 
whatever the topic right. is, okay. you have to plan that thing out and, and post it on the appropriate platform where persons would receive it and then from that they'll get the message appropriately. Right. Okay. So therefore, you you can decide. Okay, this month I'm posting about health. Mm. Right. Um, next month I'm posting about uh, exercising for your body. Well, that's health. That's health. Um, um, maybe the love of God. Love of God. Or, Creation. Right. Uh, I can use. You could, I can use Bible texts. Mm. I can use yeah. Mrs. White's quotes and right. that kind of yeah. thing. And, and so of prophecy. Yeah. Right. Now, so therefore, planning is important. Mm -hmm. What's about timing? Timing in terms of length and timing in terms of time of day. Mm -hmm. um, is that important in terms of um, social media evangelism? I don't think timing is that important because I could read anything that anybody posts at any time. Okay. It doesn't matter when they post it. So whenever the time is convenient for me to read it, I could read it because it's there in cyberspace. But but you're saying timing is not important based on which platform you're on. Right. Imagine right. two a.m. you're sleeping and somebody sends you something on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Okay. Timing is off. Mm -hmm. I mean, in that case, if it doesn't wake me up, I'll see it in the morning because it'll right. just be there. Okay. That's what I mean. But yeah. but, but are you aware? Yeah. Oh, you have a question. We have a comment there. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. So from Korean, you first need to build a relationship with them. That's important. Not because they like your quote or feel inspired by it gives you the leeway to try getting them into the church. Same time, Makes build sense. the relationship, continue sharing that type of content, and eventually, you may be even have to ask them to come. They will want to know more and make the move themselves. But the idea is to build a relationship first. Very, very important. Yeah. Th that's that's the foundation. Yeah, that's that is the foundation. Yeah, and that comes with engaging engagement. Yeah, and that's a big term in social media um, evangelism. Yeah, Rikisha so, says, firstly, I don't think one quote would be enough. And yeah. that's very, very true. Yeah, and, and that's important. That's important. Um, but let's go to the time, and we'll come back to his mm -hmm. because engagement is important. Timing. Are you aware that um, on social media sites, um, and I have one of myself. I, I do CM ministries on Facebook. Okay. Um, the challenge consistency is important, and I stop. I do you know, that kind of thing. But consistency in social media evangelism is a key. Mm -hmm. Now, what I've realized is. Based upon what time I share my posts, by 10 o'clock, I have more views. So, for example, if I share, let, let's go with my, um, my Sabbath school lesson studies. If I share it at 4, 5 o'clock in the morning, I get more persons watching it by the time I come and see how many persons who have viewed it mm -hmm. um, by 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. If I share it at 9 o'clock, I don't get yeah. that many views yeah. again for the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, the timing so, is crucial because persons go to work and yeah. so forth, mm -hmm. that kind of thing and so forth. Mm -hmm. So all depends what you post in. So I'm posting Sabbath school. Mm -hmm. So somebody now would normally watch the video on their way to work, mm -hmm. or after they do the Sabbath school or that kind of thing and so forth. They will not now watch it again. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So timing is okay. is also important, crucial. And length is important too. What I realize is, so have you realize that, guys, that the longest quotes you get are spiritual quotes. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. And you read maybe the first two lines, <laughs> well, you, you run to the bottom. Yeah. Half the time, <laughs> once I see the length, I don't even bother reading it. Yeah. Right. Because sometimes you could, you could just tell that the person who sent it to you didn't even read it themselves. Yeah. Because that's of the length. It. That's it. Yeah, and yeah. Okay, that's where the personal thing comes in. Yeah. You know, you want to know the person that sends it to you. It's a it's, person it's, thinking of you. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So and we also have a, a response here from Seanette Thompson. Hmm, that is rather difficult to reach people by just posting about God's love. All right. Our lives should be the testimony of God's love. So while making the post on Facebook, as Christians, our lives should reflect His character. Let your life be the sermon. And that is a solid point. We agree like a hundred percent. Um, I have met people. Here in Grenada, mm -hmm. that I, well, I'm new, so a lot of people I don't know. But I've met people who have to me, Pastor, I'm watching your summer school lesson. Thank you mm -hmm. for it. Um, I'm following you on Facebook. Thank you. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. and yeah. you, you, it's important you reach people. Yeah. But the truth is, the biggest or best man ever preached is a life well lived. Mm -hmm. um, but there are people that will not meet because they leave the north, they go down to St. George's to work. 
they come back late in the night, they won't open the gate for you to, to come back late in the night to yeah. do any Bible studies. <laughs> However, they will go on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And because they might be a friend of your friend, they get um, a post that you have shared. Mm -hmm. And people, and God works in mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. Somebody might be going through a difficult time and just you have shared that post. They see it. Mm -hmm. It encourages them. Yeah. All right. Now, Cyrus. okay. Cyrus, the beautiful thing. So, the beautiful thing about the Seventh-day Adventist organization or movement, our community is large and the world is wide. So the brothers point the end goal should be for such individuals to fellowship in one of the local churches or congregations that are located in their vicinity. And Doc, you were saying that, and that is um, solid. So let's talk about um engagement um sharing posts because engagement is for example liking or um your posts so for people to like your posts mm -hmm. what kind of posts or what do you think you should share um to 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 get persons to engage you on facebook now engagement doesn't mean that they will send you a message one time mm -hmm. but just to maybe just like your post and so forth well, you can share scripture. Scripture passages. Scripture passages, different quotes from the LNG White books, you know? Right. You, maybe you have read, a, okay, you get up one morning and you read a, a quote from LNG White and you say, oh, that's interesting, I should share it to somebody so you can that's share it. that as well too. Um, song, music, you know, music is something that helps people. If you're feeling down, somebody may be going through a lot and they heard that they, they listen to that music and it just give them that motivation to just go through the day so you can also share that as well too. okay and that 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 that, that is mm -hmm. so that is so yeah so so you share these various mm -hmm. things and so forth mm -hmm. and also we must look at the world what is happening mm -hmm. yeah um for so today was what day women's day women's oh, yeah, day women's so day. if you are facebook missionary it would be nice to um put yeah. you know something on happy women's mm -hmm. day that kind of thing and so forth god loves women or something yeah. mm -hmm. um pe people would like these things they would engage and um, something that's so pertinent to this event or whatever experience in this era or this part of the world right so like for instance if there's a big accident that happened in Greenland and a lot of people are moaning about this accident. Then you'll post some comforting something yes. for that event so that persons will be drawn to your post. Something that will catch the audience. But, but that also means you ought to know who your audience is. That's because it. you may post something with a particular group of persons in mind and these persons aren't even following you. Yes. Yes. So audience is important here. Right, and then we also have Car Carvel here watching from Andrews. Oh yes, that's University. my um pastor's wife, man, sister Carvel Regis. Pastor Regis, sis, please give Pastor Regis our regard. Solid couple of um, um in the army of God. Amen. Solid people from uh, the Amen. Andrews at this present time. Judy saying the first step is to demonstrate love and present Jesus, which is the source of love. Now that's it. But again, Norman is saying here it depends on the market segment. Yes, really, it's Im it's no one sounds like a, a, a marketer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. because you don't just post things, but then you have to understand who you're posting to right. there. But even as you were making mention earlier of sharing things, we should not always be too quick to share something. We must, before we like or whatever, we must really ensure that we read things thoroughly. You know, sometimes we just pass things along. And even earlier this week, you know, somebody was just, somebody sent me a video and the video was showing certain things and when I saw the video I realized it was a video I saw previously right. and the content was different mm -hmm. but it's because I mean I said here's what this is not something you should send around because the content is not true right. it's not authentic because what the message is giving now that's not the, the original message for it right so even before we share things we must also verify because as much as we have social media we have to understand now that anyone can post <coughs> anything anyone can create content That's it doesn't it. have to be authentic content so before we pass on something even though it's a good read and it may sound okay we need to test all things we need to prove all things we need to try all things That's before it. we share because as was said earlier from one of the persons online what you send is a reflection of you That's and it. you also said once you put something out and it goes out if you have to recall it, there is no option. I mean, you can't recall what, what you yeah, have said. Yeah. You may it's apologize, but once it goes out, it goes out. That's it. So even using the social media as a tool for evangelism, we have to ensure 
we thoroughly check everything before it goes out because it's a reflection of us. That's it. And, and that's solid. And Cyrus is saying relationships, relationship is key. Awesome point, Brother Kimo. And um, Cronet is saying the person should also be an example too because one may want to go through your profile. Mm -hmm. And that is very important. Mm -hmm. So some of us may have to go to our profiles and delete some pictures <laughs> um, and delete some quotes. Um, and because the thing is, you want to be to share the best example or be the best example that you are. And it goes back to what you were saying a while ago. Um, so, I, Regis, so I have a question that just that, that just pops up yes. here. Now. Let's suppose I was one who okay, I have my profile online and I was posting things that are not Christian like. Yes, you post about so, two. Yeah, 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 all kinds well, of things. And it so happened now mm -hmm. that I became touched. And I became a different person. And I now want to post something. Should I continue with my old profile or should I create a new profile? Just in the event somebody wants to go back to my history. Alright. Well, well see where I'm getting at. Yes, but we can we can answer that here, but <laughs> let's throw it out to them. Yeah. Yeah. Them yeah. So that ball is whoop. In your court. Yeah. So you tell us what you think and, and we'll maybe fix it up afterwards. Mm -hmm. Kaveridi is saying, just to build on a previous comment, the reality is many may be outside of our nearby geographical space. So we may want to consider helping people to build a relationship with Christ rather than trying to get them to come to your church. Um, mm -hmm. P.I. is saying, happy Sabbath to all. I'm in total agreement with you, Pastor. Also, I'd like to add here from a personal experience, to that of sharing or posting a Bible um, text or encouragement. It helps in sharing up one's life, especially those who may seem pretty busy and at the same time, persons look forward to that post or text every day. And yes, I agree with you, Sister Sharina. Sarana. So, 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 well, Sarana, yeah. mm -hmm. sorry, Sarana. So this is saying again, they can then find a church in the area to attend after they have decided to give their lives to Jesus. Um, then um, I, our brother said, people use social media for three main reasons. One, to be informed. Two, to stay connected. Three, to be entertained. So get engagement. Share, connect, uh, <laughs> share content. content uh, around and those. this guy yeah. sounds like a marketer. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he sounds like he's doing marketing. And, yeah. and, and, and that is solid. Now, we have been talking about digital missionaries okay let's keep always saying i know it was stated before but i want to re-emphasize the need to to fact check check very true. so many times i have seen sds posts share etc things that are untrue and they constantly do so true. the enemy is happy with that because people become desensitized and tend to ignore the post of the individual if or when the person has truth to share they will be ignored because yeah, the yeah. mindset is that individual doesn't know what they are sharing and a soul can be eternally lost as a consequence and that's, now, the, that's the foundation under which i'm bringing yeah, forward uh, uh, my ear yeah. we have to ensure the content we put out there we check it we don't just post things or just forward somebody sends you something and you just send it out there yeah and and ellen you, and you guys i think the audience is is following us with that mm -hmm. seriously on that point yeah. now we have an answer here for michelle roberts well, just before i take michelle yeah. roberts personally in my point what, what i do i have my personal facebook page mm -hmm. and i open a ministry facebook page mm -hmm. so i deal with doctrine i deal with um sh my normal post through my facebook uh, my ministry, ministry page yes. mm -hmm. and actually I share my ministry pages post on my yeah. Facebook page and so forth okay um, you said who? Michelle Roberts Michelle Roberts said create a new one create a new yeah. profile okay she said create a new profile all right so we'll wait for more and we can give them some guidance now we have been talking about Shoma Shoma friend says when you are born again all things are passed away and behold all <laughs> things have become new let them see your new post of your new life i agree with that <laughs> i was going to say the exact same point because i mean okay yes yeah yeah you are born again christian right yeah. now and let, let them send okay, give yeah, us more yeah, yeah, let's yeah. Give, them, give more you know so you can fix stuff you know that kind of thing all right so we have been talking about individual digi um digital missionaries mm -hmm. give us some guidance in terms of let's say paradise mm -hmm. Um, Mount Horn, I'm correct? Mm -hmm. St. George's. You live here tonight and you are excited. 
that social media evangelism can work. We can reach young people, we can reach people in Grenada through there, and hopefully in time mm -hmm. that we can build a relationship with them and we can invite them to come to our church, our church nearby. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give persons in starting, number one, a social, um, a, a social media page for their church and maybe challenging young people in their church to become social media evangelists? Hmm. I would say it starts with a changed lifestyle. Right. So yes, you may be eager to go and, and, and start posting, but as we have the questions on, on, on screen, or as, as we have the answers or responses on screen, persons still are going to look the message is important, but it's also the messenger is also important. That's it. And even though you may be zealous now because you have learned that you can use the platform to do that, you still have to question yourself, okay, I must make a change. Mm -hmm. Persons must definitely see a change in me. So the things I post, it can draw people to me because if persons still look at your old profile, yes, your old profile may be there, but if, as the, the, Michelle would have made mention here, she thinks you can create a new yeah. one. But I want to say the question for them because um, we're not getting some uh, answers for us first uh, before we answer yeah, the question. Yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm coming to here. All right. So coming to my church now. So I'm eager to go and start. Yes, I can start simple, you know, maybe post something, let's say, what God would have done for me. We can start from you. Because what God would have done for you, no one can, can, can deny that. So persons may post things otherwise, but if you start posting things about yourself, mm -hmm. as the brother was saying a while ago, you know you have just overcome something and you know God is good and you start those things, maybe to even raise questions. So you may post something and somebody may ask you, well, why are you posting this? And, and, and you start developing because the relationship we want. Because what's the sense of posting things and you, you don't have a response from others? Mm -hmm. So you may post something and I guess you would have posted something and somebody made a response. What's going on? What happened? What were you? What did you overcome? You know. So things that invite persons to start a, a conversation where you can build a relationship. Yeah. So I believe that's a starting point in terms of starting this evangelistic medium using the social media. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. What I would say, I would say, okay, for St. George's area. I will go out in the field to meet the people firsthand and see where their needs lie. That's the first thing. And then afterwards, I'll find out what's their most popular social media site or use. Make a survey to see how much people use this amount, uh, this platform, and then start a social media ministry on that particular platform. And then meet the needs that I went out in the field to right. find out about and post on that particular platform yes. to meet that person's in mm. my area. Now, now, now you, 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 I mean, you, uh, you batten. Mm -hmm. You batten like my favorite cricket always retired, like Lara. You batten like Lara. That's my favorite yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. You, um, and, uh, and, and you both are correct. I mean, mm, yeah. you, you, um, we, we are hot, all right? Um, let's go down to get some answers from them. Yeah. Now, um, Serena, we, we come back to you just mm. now. Eh? Okay. Um, create a new profile as, as a technological baptism. Wow. Uh, okay. I, 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 that's a new one to me. A technological <laughs> baptism. Yeah, oh, like wow. That. First time I heard that term. Yes. Yeah. First time I heard that Big term. Science. You learn something every day. <laughs> but wait, what? That technological <laughs> baptism, I mean, people still know about your past. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Well, that's, yeah, but with a physical baptism, people still know about your past. But you are a new person now. Yeah, true. Yeah, so, so that's what I'm yeah. saying. If you, uh, if you show them that you, you came from an old person to a new person that yeah. is showing you the process of being baptized yeah. well let's get some more keep your profile show people how uh, or what the power of jesus love can do let people see where god has brought you from you would be surprised to know how many folks struggle with what you have struggled That's with insane. and thought exactly. that their case was a lost they can see your process Wonderful. all right yeah. um, any other questions uh, sorry any other answers yeah let's get some more yeah, this is, yeah, we just the, concluded. This is it? No, no, we just did this one, yeah. Y yes. Um, someone said, you hit, okay, use your same profile, open your past life and openly, or own, sorry, your past life and openly let people know you have changed Jeez. your life and this is the life you are living. Social media provides an opportunity to showcase life changes. Trying to create a new profile can be can be seen you trying to hide Cover from your past. Your yeah. past. But does that mean that you the same 
um, pictures with you with the little pom pom shorts. Still, still, still. still. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we're but, still talking. Yeah. Or, or the bathing suit and so <laughs> forth, and you with the bare bottle. And I mean, okay. We want to post what we want, but we should pray and let God guide us to post what He. He wants. wants. Us, yeah. A happy self. I saw Herbert Joseph from St. Lucia. Let me see what Herbert is saying. Let our profile be our testimony. So changing the profile won't do much, but let um, the, the before and after, after testify. Testifies. All mm-hmm. right. Um, Shermaine is saying, I use my profile of, of my Facebook to share with my friends. Kimo says, I believe it should be up to the individual. They are free to create a new page or delete prior posts or pictures. As long as the current messages and lifestyle does not contradict what they, 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 profess. they profess, that is the most important issue mm-hmm. here. Rosemary, welcome in the house. and um, She's from Antigua. Anguilla. Anguilla, sorry. Welcome, um, Rosemary, and thank you for being with us. All right, so guys, let's try to answer the question. Um, what's your advice to that person? Which person? Well, we're still in the same question. <laughs> um, to the individual, should they have a new profile? Oh, no, should no, they no. keep the pictures? Should they delete the pictures? What's your advice? I think we were trying to answer it before, but I think we can answer it now. Um, let's let the lady begin. <laughs> well, um, hmm. okay. okay. What would you have done? Well, personally, I would leave the well, how my profile is to be i will live it and let people see the transformation in my life what god has done in my life and let them know that whatever situation they are going through that god can change them and they'll, so i would just i will leave i won't create a new page i will okay. just leave it as it is so even if you have um videos of you whining in the <laughs> dance hall and you know <laughs> i'm mean, happy so sorry yes, i don't understand yeah. Yes. Yeah. so so you leave these and let, me, let people see the transformation that I'm a new person, you know, that God can change whatever situation you're going through, whatever situation you're Even though if you're a drug, you're a drug addict, you used to be partying and so on. And, you know, let them see that God can change you whatever state you are in. All right, mm-hmm. my brother. I agree with that. I would, I would definitely leave yeah. my profile picture, well, profile as it is, and show the transformation mm-hmm. that happened in me so that others can mm-hmm. learn that they can move from that to what I am now. All right. Your testimony away. Yeah, but even if I, I, I don't disagree with them, but even as a previous post there, as someone would have posted, I think we should ask God <laughs> yes. to tell us if we should leave it or if we should keep it. Yeah. We should yeah. seek yeah. his guidance first. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, yes, leaving it would do a good for us, but again, sometimes leaving yes. based mm-hmm. on what it was before mm-hmm. could also be bad. Yes. Because yes. sometimes the message is good, and there are various persons. Some persons may say, okay, yes, I can see the change. There are persons who always look for negatives right. at times. So sometimes I believe the best option is to seek God's guidance and he yes. tells us what decision we should yes. make. And, and, and I believe that. And again, wisdom should dictate and should guide through the Holy Spirit um, how we handle things. Mm-hmm. And if you have explicit um documentary on there that's what well, yeah you yes. remove that. that's what this post is saying well, yeah. Yeah. keeping your old profile doesn't mean you can delete some of the extreme, extreme content stuff, you yeah. posted in the past as a matter of fact christian or no christian we should always audit our profiles and remove content that does not really reflect who we are now and thank you so much i think i couldn't have said it better mm-hmm. um and that is um solid um, so therefore, um, a little auditing of our lives should always yeah. happen mm-hmm. could have. Um, because there are some individuals um, who could also be discouraged by our life or, before. Or, or, yes, 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 people can be discouraged. So how do yeah. we audit? The only way I see us auditing is if we really are aware of what we are posting. Because persons may just forward things so quickly, you haven't even read it through. Later on, when you find out well, certain things, you're, you're not even aware that you posted those things. Yeah. So we should really be conscious of the things that we, we post. That we right. post. It's That's only it. then we can audit. That's because it. we remember. So as soon as somebody says something, oh, yes, remember, I know I said that here. I know you learned that what you said then wasn't the case. You can always go back and, 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 and edit it. That's you know, it. Pull it down or make modifications That's or whatever it, it is. That's it. And even after 
um, through the Holy Spirit leading you and guiding you a little further, if you may have placed a photo or something that at the time you posted it, you thought it was okay. Mm -hmm. um, when the Holy Spirit reveals to you new truth, you need to go back and audit. Yeah. You know, fix it up. Yeah. Because it must share, um, you know, what God wants. Now, um, we need to end, so I will um, ask each person to share just a few points, and, and I'll end with a few myself, on what you think about social media, evangelism, would you recommend, or anything that you want to share? We, ladies first. <laughs> Okay, well, um, about social media evangelism, I would say it's a very good thing to spread God's word. And we as Christians, we should take advantage of that, you know, because God said to go out there and spread his word to everyone. So, and we know that social media, it's the, the information goes out very quickly. So let us, even though you don't ha you're not on um, social media and you don't do the um, evangelize on social media, I think tonight you should start. At least you can start by giving a little Bible text, little quotes, and eventually you will get there and to share God's word. So that is my encouragement to everyone. They can start if you don't have a, if you don't, you're not accustomed to sharing things out there, you can start tonight. All right, so I'm going to say that social media is everywhere. Everyone has it. Everyone is on a platform, at least one platform. So we can utilize that to our benefit. We can share things that we can do in the past. We could do 10 times faster now in this 21st century. And I think we should utilize that advantage and help God, help spread God's word throughout the world. Amen. The Bible tells us, and this gospel shall be preached into all the world and then the end come. And now we have the means where we can bring the gospel to the end of the world. But the gospel is the good news that the Bible said, thus says the Lord. So when we're using the social media platform, which we should use, we should also ensure that whatever we post, whatever we send, whatever we sell to the public, really reflect the gospel as is presented in the Bible. Amen. Amen. And um, I would end by sharing with you that as you endeavor to try or enter the realm of social media evangelism that as you like share and you post and so forth um set goals set goals do not say okay i want um 40 people to like my post and if 40 don't like your post you are disappointed and so forth set goals and your goals should be smart specific measurable attainable, rewarding, and time-bound. Mm -hmm. What do I mean specific? So that means I, um, measure, um, I am posting once a day, once a week, once a month. Um, so that is also measurable because you know how many times that you are posting for the month. Let it be something that you can attain, something that you can do. So don't say, okay, God, I'm going to now be a social media evangelist and I'm going to post 20 times a day. And you know you're a busy person. It's not attainable. Do what you can. Or do not try to go on every social media site to say, I'm going to evangelize on every site. And you don't have the time to do that. Um, choose one. So if it's Facebook, choose Facebook um, and work it. Post once a day. Um, whatever you can. If you're going to use YouTube, um, and you're going to maybe share Doc Bachelor or what have you or, or so forth on, um, through YouTube, you do that. But be consistent and, and when persons share, so let's say you, um, I, I'm going to try to get two likes for the month. If you get two likes, say praise the Lord, Lord, thank you and pray about it. It's the work of God. Let God lead you. Let God direct you. Remember, it's not by might nor by power, but, but by, by the spirit, spirit, says the Lord. Amen. And you have places like here in Grenada, the Conference Media Center, they're doing social media evangelism. That's what we're doing right now, yes. through yes. Facebook. Um, Doug Bachelor is, is coming on board with it. A lot of the conferences, you're going live, social media evangelism, and many other things. Um, we didn't have much time tonight to discuss everything, but hopefully some other time we'll come back and we will give you more practical advice on how to become a social media, media evangelist. What do you do? 
how do you go about doing it how do you get content how do you manage your content and so forth tonight we would like to pray for individuals before we go um you could send in your prayer request um for us to pray um if you don't we would just pray tonight for everyone let's bow our heads wherever you are so we could pray together as a family would we'll allow our saint george's boy to pray for us as we end okay let's pray dear heavenly father we come before your presence thanking you for everything that you have done for each and every one of us Lord, we thank you for giving us this platform where we can share like comment what's up, what's proper father lord you know that we can do all things through christ who strengthens us and we ask you to give us your holy spirit that we may be guided into what we post every single day so that may reflect you lord we pray that you continue to help us to utilize it to the best of our ability lord help us bless it father lord you know how we're using it for youth life continue to help it to reach out to even more people so that they may see your goodness and learn to call you blessed and when you come the second time you shall take us all into heaven father help us to continue to advance and show people that this platform may not be only used for bad but we can use it for good because it's a very good platform to be used for good forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness this is our prayer to jesus christ our lord amen may god bless you thank you for being with us see you next week friday same place same time may god bless you
me They say why everyone And lead others to trust and love you more